a few words. And you've been almost 11 years here in Salvation Army. So how do you feel when you are retired right now? Well, I think in order to be retired, you have to be tired first. Oh, well, I'm tired. You're tired. How old are you right now? 71. 71. Well, it's, it's been, time. You know, it's time for me to hang out my spurs and get the heck out of Dodge. You know, you know, uh, uh, I'm RT. You know, I still remember the first time when I met you a long time ago, and uh, when you went with your guitar, and you said, "No, there are many songs to sing." And you still have a time. You were singing. It was in Sunnyville, I remember. Oh yeah. Yeah, in Sunnyville facilities. It's, it's gonna be a long time. Yeah, it hey, would be. I never see. I never regret. You know what? To become a yeah. friend. You know, you are my chaplain. You still, you know, one of my mentors, you know, in the, in the uh, Christian, you know, yeah. church, you know. Well, one thing I like uh, about you is that you are still very active in the community and your community, and there's no dividing line between that. Oh, wow. And I think that is a nice way to approach. You're always willing to help people, and of course, with your activity with the city, I'm very impressed with that. Always have been. Oh, well, I'm proud of you. Uh, Just wanted to let you know. Oh, thank you, Artie. You know, you can't let me know. But anyway, you know, as part of the community, if we can help, I can help. Why not? No, as a journalist, I always uh, say it. Yeah, certainly no? you than me because I have the language barrier that you do not. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, anyway, it's almost 11 years, you know, I believe with the um, chaplain uh, Richard Thomas Carr, is, uh, he made a great job right here, you know, he made mentor many people who went through, you know, in Salvation Army, and I believe so, you know, you will be remembered, you're a chaplain well, I, I to remember what I said.